बेहद की परम 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 शांति सो फार वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट सो मेनी टॉपिक्स लाइक नॉन अटैचमेंट लाइफ आफ्टर डेथ एस्ट्रल प्रोजेक्शंस एवोल्यूशन थ्योरी स्पिरिचुअल साइंस बियॉन्ड परम महाशिव योग बट वी हैव नेवर ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ एंड फ्रॉम वेयर दिस नॉलेज इज कमिंग टूडे वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट the conversation between bapu ji and his son anant anant asked bapu ji about the practical yoga or the meditation practiced by bapu ji naturally many people are interested in bapu ji's practical yoga and whom he meditated bapu ji replied that he meditated with the main source of power the almighty authority who resides high above in the infinite to the infinite supreme abode he is the creator of the infinite multiverses bapu ji meditated with that supreme divine light of the supreme authority this supreme authority is abstract and incorporeal with infinite power to connect with him first of all we has to settle in the stage of self realization one must understand the technique of yoga first the power from the power house can be pulled down by the soul and not by the body the power of that particular power house flows through the person whom he or she meditates one must have a proper knowledge of the power house as well as the technique of connecting with him to draw the power from him bapu ji said that when he sat in the meditation he sat in the position for getting all the physical or the bodily relations he feels the complete absence of physical body and focuses on the soul soul dwells in the agna chakra at the center of the forehead between the two eyebrows soul is the consciousness awakened to the infinite self awareness soul is a light energy therefore when he meditates he is the state of the soul consciousness he is in sthit pragya stage as described in gita he forgets all the gross and the material connections of the body he then unites with the create creations and the creator of the infinite of the infinite the inhabitant of the infinite of the infinite supreme abode this is the supreme 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 that is param 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 mahashiv he is a divine light he is infinite and incorporeal his radiance is like the infinite of the infinite energy of the solar systems made up of solar supreme divine light it is difficult to describe this divine light and energy it is the celestial supernatural pure and magical the flow of energy from mahashiv is so amazing that i hold consciousness persistently allowing that divine energy to flow into my soul when this energy flows within the soul experiences supreme bliss and peace while bapu ji meditates he is thought he is in the thoughtless state of mind there are no thoughts in his mind there is only 
peace and illuminated light experience. When he meditates and concentrates on the divine energy, he merges completely with it. He feels that he is the same as what he is. The energy is incredible and indescribable. He becomes light. He is light body and thoughtless state of mind. Even a single thought results in a loss of energy. Anand asked Bapuji how one could control his or her thoughts. Usually we are always engulfed in constant flood of haphazard thoughts. When we try to meditate, our mind wavers all the time. We can hardly sit stably and peacefully for five minutes. We have no control over our thoughts. Bapuji said that he is always in a state of Karm Yogi. A Karm Yogi is a one who is always connected to the powerhouse, the almighty authority. While performing the karmas, he is completely merged with the almighty authority and therefore there is no ego or self. One becomes the medium of the divine. If somebody is driving a car in this state, he will never lose concentration. Any work done as a karm yoga will always result in a positive result. What does karm yoga mean? Karm yoga means that the person is a constant state of self-consciousness. One thinks and feels that he is a soul and not a body. When the person is soul conscious, he is completely detached from the body or the bodily relations. While doing any kind of activity, be it eating, drinking, driving or walking, he is a state of soul consciousness. Bapuji said that in this state, whatever one does bring positive results. One can study more, his memory also increases. One becomes enlightened and wise. One becomes free from continuous wanderings of mind. Bapuji further elucidated the two stages of mind, that is conscious and subconscious. For example, when a person is working and at the back of his mind, if there is a humming of some song, it is the subconscious mind. It is not a conscious action or the activity. In meditation, there is the same process. When a person moves from karta state to the akarta state, that is, doer to undoer, even when one is driving a car, if the subconscious mind is connected to the powerhouse, it can be called a karmatit state. This stage beyond karmas nullifies all karmas. Between karm yoga and karmatit stage, there is a huge difference. Karmatit state is a stage when a person realizes all his sins and repents for them. Repentance washes off his sins and he is absolved of the sins. It is a totally soul conscious stage or a state. When a person is in karmatit state, he no longer lives up in the materialistic world. He becomes manifest to unmanifest and reaches the higher dimensions. When one squares up 
all his karma, he attains the karmatit state. Anand told Bapuji that we all live in gross material world and therefore it is difficult to attain karmatit state. Bapuji said that in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna teaches Arjun Raj Yoga, Karma Yoga and Sankalpa Yoga. He says that the first of all a person has to think that he is not a body but a soul. Body is just a garment of the soul. Every person is pure, peaceful, divine soul. There is first step towards self-realization. One must perform all the actions and the karmas in a karma in a karma yoga stage and karmatit state. If one pursues his studies in a karmatit state, it imprints in, in his mind and soul. It becomes quite clear and firmly implanted. When a student appears in his examination in the state of soul consciousness, he writes successfully as he is able to memorize everything totally. This is the superb technique for the students to practice. He would be able to study well and get the best results in his examination. Anant asked Bapuji if everybody can directly connect with the same powerhouse as Bapuji does? He added that there are different categories of soul and therefore it is not possible for all to connect directly with the almighty authority. Bapuji said that it is true that there are different categories of souls some are the creations of Shiva, therefore they will meditate with the Shiva. So he belongs to the category of Shiva. Then some are the creations of Mahashiva who derive from the power from the Mahashiva who resides in the center of the galaxy. Then the souls of the high category will meditate with the Param Mahashiva in the high supreme abode in the incorporeal form. So accordingly to the category of the soul, the soul will meditate and reach his master. These souls look for, for their creators and derive power from them. Anant added to the modern science researchers also believe that the belief system or the faith have a great importance in our life. We all get energy from what we believe in. People have the knowledge of Mahashiv and Paramahashiv. Then how would they get connected with them? Bapuji said that every soul has his or her category, but it is also important to have knowledge. People now often talk of galaxies. There are, there are 800 Arab solar systems in our galaxies. There are billions and billions of galaxies and people know this because science has already been saying this. Therefore, as and when knowledge increases, the energy of the soul will also get enhanced. The stages of the soul will also change. There will be the growth in their dimensions. There is a coating of accumulated karmas on the soul. There is a recording of every birth in the soul. Immoral evil karmas fill the soul with the negativity. When such a soul calls upon the God, remembers the God, seek the help of the Divine, he gets the power from the God he remembers. He now thinks of attaining karmatit stage by getting rid of 
all his sins and bad karmas. Then he begins to move towards enlightenment. After years of devotion and worship, he attains the right direction and the awareness. He also begins to get the fruits of the divine knowledge. With the help of this divine knowledge, he searches for the God. First, he reaches Shiva and if he is the creation of Shiva, he will stay there devoted to Shiva. If he is the creation of Mahashiva, the soul will reach there. And if he is the creation of Mahashiva, he will remain there in the shelter of the Mahashiva. If the soul belongs to the Param Mahashiva, he will go to him in the infinite supreme abode of the Almighty Authority. There is a memory stored in every soul. It has all the recordings of the previous births and category he belongs to. This means that the soul knows it but does not have the realization of the same. There are different souls with different capacities and power. As there are different bulbs with different walls, there are souls with different capacities. There are bulbs with 10, 50, 100, 500, 1000 volts or mega volts. If it is connected to the main source, then only it works and current passes through it. Anand said that in the book Om of All Things by Rusbe, Ma has said that as the sun gives us light and spark, the infinite Parama Shiva gives our soul light and spark. He is like a cosmic sun. The sun gives us physical light and energy. But the Almighty Authority gives us radiance. Recently, science has discovered the sun which is one crore times bigger than our sun in our solar system. Our sun gives vitamin D but the Paramaha Shiva gives us the divine power and the light energy. Bapuji said that sun in our solar system emits light and gives fire element to the world. It gives light and heat. Par Param Mahashiva gives us the Param light, that is, the supreme light. He is like a supreme light, sun. Its color is dull white. It is the Param light, that is, the supreme radiance. It is colorless. If you want to take a power from the high, higher celestial level, you should imagine the picture of multi-universe and visualize the divine abode filled with Param, that is the supreme light. It is here where Param, Param, Param Mahashiva resides. He is abstract, incorporeal and divine. It is light pure, celestial, marvelous energy. It is the pure white light, like a milk. Bapuji said that he is standing in front of this divine light and energy. He is also in light, non-physical body. He is under the shower of pure divine light. He is connected to the infinite of the infinite, supreme, 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 almighty authority. He is connected to the father of the infinity. This divine light is the master of all, the creator, the producer and the director of all the universes and the multiverses. He is the home of the Supreme Divine Light. 
when we are under the power of divine energy we are filled with param 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 light and param elements that is the supreme light and the supreme elements all our negativity and the negative thoughts go away and our bad karmas are also abolished our karmic account is settled and we are filled with param powers anand asked papuji how long one should meditate and when one should practice the medi meditation is it better to meditate in the morning or in the night bapuji replied that he firmly believe in the karm yoga and therefore he rec recommended meditating while performing one's karma bapuji said that all his life he practiced karm yoga when he practiced law he had to plead a case before two renowned judges in the tribunal court while arguing for the case he connected his mind subconsciously to the god he realized himself in the light body he presented the case so well that he won it this was because of the karm yoga right from the childhood bapuji was profoundly interested in the divine knowledge of the gita he was always in the research of god the purpose of his life was to understand the god of the gita and know him everything becomes possible through karma yoga god is the ultimate energy and if one connects with him the soul gets that divine energy within him in in karma yoga you perform your duties your task as a medium of the divine energy you are not the karta that is the doer but a karta that is non doer the supreme energy acts through you this is the true meditation and therefore it does not require any particular time of the day when one loves someone passionately he always remembers him or her all the time even when you are doing your duties or any other work one always thinks about him or her even if he is busy with the material world one remains mentally attached to him or the her or her this feeling of love creates the power and the energy when you love the supreme authority you feel attached to him you think and feel his presence all the time when you think that he is your infinite great great grandfather you will get the energy from him there are souls who are the creations of shiva and there are some souls who are the creations of mahashiva he will give you the legacy of the supreme energy he uh, he has he is the supreme divine light and also the fireball of energy it has it has been written in gita that when you meditate the supreme power you reach him therefore we should meditate and take the power from the ultimate authority you will reach that level from the whom you draw power you have become jeev from shiva when you when you reach karmatit stage and all your bad karmas are abolished you become pure you will get the power in your soul that will take you to the supreme abode one day you will then realize shivoham shivoham that is i am a shiv in fact all the souls have become jeev from shiv therefore 
one should focus on the ultimate authority to get param param energy to to achieve the power from the supreme authority one has to focus on one's goal every individual has a goal or a purpose few souls have different goals and different kind of intellect majority of the souls are in, entrapped in the illusionary world that is maya to live in the material and illusionary world and become karma yogi is not easy for that the person should be goal oriented and focused a lot of practice sadhana is needed for that once must be abandoned illusionary and fantasy life and focus on the higher goal bapu ji said that he had been practicing since he was 4 years old he read the gita and tried to understand its meaning he tried to understand the exact literal meaning of gita and reach the almighty authority he always wanted to know where he lived and how he drove controlled and managed the whole world he wanted to know about the universes multiverses galaxies and our solar systems and their creators and the creations Anand asked Bapu ji about the responsibility of an individual when a person gets power he must be responsible he must have a hidden duty now the soul that meditates and draws the power from above must have the responsibility and duty it is natural that though that these spiritual powers should not be used to achieve materialistic comforts or things Bapu ji said that he had a goal and vision to change the world. He wanted to transform the world, cosmos and the universe. He wants to use all his energy for the welfare of the mankind and transform the world into pure and divine entity. Every soul must think like this. Sitting at home, they can practice this. they must meditate with the supreme power and connect to the great grandfather that is the almighty authority they should draw the power from him first they should repent for their bad karmas and sins their accumulated karmas should be settled and they should become pure and divine free from all the negativity and residual karmas they should always think that they are well wishers of the world and the mankind they want to work for the betterment of the society and the entire mankind that must be the goal of every individual bapu ji said that when that energy comes to a person it creates magic one would be able to create what one thinks one can change the entire world in a moment our planet earth will convert to supreme divine elemental body the whole world would be transformed into divinity the world would become immortal here we must understand the meaning of immortality what has lord krishna said in gita he has said that he would take the souls to the param divine position he would take the souls to the divine supreme immortal world this is the state of mind where the person becomes 100% soul conscious when there is no physical corporeal body there is no death the knowledge given by lord krishna 
must not be related to the material facts but to the spiritual essence and the significance. Lord Krishna himself was the abode of the supreme energy. He gave this wonderful knowledge 5000 years ago. There has many additions and alterations in the Gita but one must grasp its essence. Lord Krishna first says, first of all, know who am I. Then know that you are not the body but a soul. You are immortal. Your soul resides at the center of your forehead. Be soul conscious and meditate. Connect yourself to the almighty authority. Lord Krishna is the, is the incarnation of the Supreme Father who is abstract, infinite and incorporeal. An Anand repeated his question regarding the goal of the soul, how it can fulfill the task of world transformation. Bapuji said that only high celestial level souls will listen to this kind of knowledge. There are such souls who want to serve the world by putting their energy in the transforma transforming the world. They are not only the physical souls but the subtle world souls. These souls are in the causal world who want to help in the world transformation. In the world there are, there are agony, miseries, sufferings and unrighteousness. In short, we have to bring down the supreme light, supreme elements, radiance on the earth and spread the positive vibes of peace and bliss. For that first of all, one must have a pure and good thoughts with an intense, firm desire to change the world. Only change in thoughts lead to the connection with the Paramatma. When all the sins of the soul are washed off, one will have soul awareness. Then one's body elements will change. He will become light body. One will then have magical powers. One can make what one thinks. The entire fire elemental world will change. Air element will turn into supreme air element. All negative thoughts will turn into positive thoughts. There will be only positive vibrations. There will be supreme peace and harmony. Pure air will change and clean with the Pranma and clean the pranmay body, that is, the ether body. From pranmay body, causal body will get charged. Once will, once will experience thoughtless state of mind with the supreme peace. Gradually, the person will pull down the cosmic supreme energy. The surroundings will change positively and ether element will be refined. Our planet Earth also become weightless and light. The mortal world will become immortal. With one's energy, one would able to transform the world and the people who are suffering from pain and agony. With positive approach, positive vibrations, positive air, positive emotions and positive environment, everything will change to positive. Surroundings and environment affect the soul. In this world, we breathe polluted air. So, the souls get negative energy. 
negative vibrations influence the people it keeps multiplying the world has become full of negativity due to this multiplying effect therefore we need to clean our world with the positive thoughts and the positive vibrations one can wash off one's bad karmas through repentance with one's power one will be able to clean the aura and take away all the pollution and the dross this is the greatest responsibility of all the souls this is not confined to the 700 crores of souls in our world alone it includes the souls of the subtle world also one's power will be radiate up to galaxies and beyond one's imagination the elements and the power of the world and the cosmos will be refined it will turn into supreme pure divine form here we thank thanking uh, bapu ji for the wonderful knowledge and the guidance here we end up this session hope you would uh, you would have gained a good uh, knowledge and the meditation technique do subscribe the channel and keep watching bapu ji's video if you like this video give a thumbs up to the video for for more information you can refer bapu ji's book available on amazon in kindle form and paper book format Our new releases are our alien connections and from the heart of the god. For more details, you can visit our website www.discoveryofnewworld.com. Behad ki param shanti. Thank you.